hello guys welcome in a new video and today i want to test something and prove this uh, town the city toxic city in the c0 can be more worth than we're thinking especially the uh, for the private servers when you can build their your base it can be insane op and there's many many places is not really ready for uh, uh, for base building that's why you can make amazing things over there in this video i want to show you the how to survive i spend uh, hours and hours in the city i show you the places the world to visit the loot we can get right there and prove this city can be one of the best places to live in the uh, scum island uh, for the first one we're gonna go to the for the husband suit is uh, we're gonna pick up from uh, a reactor for the toxic the most toxic place in this island for this moment when i living there on another servers i usually go to the uh, regular bunker open the locker for the hazmat and just go after that today i'm really curious how it's gonna working i did, don't know yet uh, as well this is big uh, question for me as well we're gonna go naked like this without hazmat without the gas mask we're gonna go to pick up and try to survive the first hazmat in the game for this what i have we're gonna need the bow and some arrows for sure because in this place can be uh, some of beepers some melee like this say katana or the, some other we're gonna need some water i take it the watermelon because i think is the best uh, for uh, peeing in the game because we're gonna need to pee a lot we're gonna need the potassium we can find uh, in some hospitals uh, and the apotex uh, screwdriver a little bit they need to be black one or just uh, the small ones it's no matter okay i'm gonna start running there let me check the right now we have already present radiation zero three so we're gonna eat uh, three capsules for example the potassium like you see one capsule from this one it's give us 21 and a half minute uh, protection from active radiation i explain you later uh, what to do in the city okay let's go eat the first uh, three of them and we're gonna eat one watermelon I'm not gonna uh, we should be start here with the the food 100% and even over and the water as well but let's go like this I'm gonna run to the uh, reactor and see you there now we enter already uh, this uh, reactor zone from the south side from here south uh, west side and we are directly when is the railroad so the first building what we can see it's this with the train and this is the place we need to go directly now we're gonna see how easy it is just come here uh, without the hazmat and survive right now it's going very fast this radiation you have a 2.7 already but there's the first lockers over here when we're gonna open and like you see these lockers are 12 seconds so this is like and the police station is very easy and we have at the hour hazmat the first one and we're gonna equip this directly this we not oh, we're gonna keep it uh, for later and more potassium this is just capsule 12 24 and this one is located in this corner on the south uh, west corner it's very easy to find you just follow and doesn't matter which way you come you need to just follow the the railroad actually this building here is uh, very good for looting is one of the best in this place Oh, we have a, the, another one. 
is we are pretty lucky this is the official uh, vanilla settings uh, of looting so mostly I hear that I found just one one was just the uh, gas mask and uh, this one we are really lucky so in this case we have already hazmat our health and radiation is 3.2 metabolism is 105 percent is our watermelon like you see is radiation of this watermelon is 0 0.1 so it is nothing and we're gonna soon going toilet i guess with this uh, uh, level of water let's go for the second place i want to show you where is the hazmat from the first place when we found this hazmat suit we're going to the road uh, uh, direction north we're passing there the fire department and now we are <coughs> reach this building here and it's a little bit tricky to find it so uh, I'm gonna show you uh, exactly the way I hope I remember now <laughs> let's go we need to go a little bit around I will be choose this entrance when there's a big track uh, blo uh, block the, the doors Now we're gonna need to look for the, some entrance upstairs. So I think this door will be fine. And we're gonna go one level, second level. Oh, here we go so we are on the second level we need to f find this place it's hard to explain another hazmat another pills opposite side over here it's uh, another one and another one so we got already uh, four hazmats, <laughs> so totally for the uh, full squad, good squad. And if we don't need them, I think this one, this four hazmats, we can sell easily for uh, around 10,000. So if you are not living even here and don't want to spend the time in the toxic zone, just running without, pick up the uh, the hazmats and uh, go and sell and give you around 10,000 bucks so it's pretty pretty good for the let's say 10 minutes uh, job we already pee one time because of the uh, eating the watermelon oh radiation is ready because we peed so radiation is going down to 0 0.5 so uh, we totally safe Okay, guys, now let's go to the uh, proper location, to the city, and I want to show you the places worth to loot and places worth to make a base for the official servers, for the private servers too, is many, many options. So, I tell you what you better to not do in this city to survive and what actually you should be do or something is no matter see you in the city we have a hazmat we ha are in a big city already toxic city so the first what we're gonna do now we need to focus about the food and drinks and what to avoid and what we can actually eat best place for that like you see here's the supermarket is uh, similar than in the samobor the big one only the different is we have the uh, first floor is completely locked so we don't have uh, the loot over there but instead of this we have a lot of boxes over here we can find even screwdrivers and some 
nice stuff here. What uh, is uh, really good in this city? It's a lot of these small uh, green uh, mm, uh, shops. If I say is around 40 of them in the entire city, I think I'm pretty close to the true. So the best source of the food is here. Let's say we're not gonna need the hazmat. I even take it out this one and we're gonna try survive without hazmat here. We have uh, some source of water, banana, apple. And really is a lot, a lot of them. Oh, some Bushmen. And pretty good to sell. And some more fruits. Sometimes we can find the rice. Sometimes uh, other good stuff over here. So uh, actually here, when you start eating, like let's say we're gonna uh, drink this water fully, gonna see now how many uh, amounts of the radiation is here is 0.5 but in this case we're not uh, eating the, the food this amount of the radiation is actually not bad because uh, every time when we pee we lose around 1.7 to 2 radiation from uh, our body we can keep this uh, bottle over here I'm gonna show you another one there's also differences. Oh, this one already will be one. We drink second bottle, so is uh, radiation one in this case. And we keep it this. In this town, you're gonna find sometimes some fontaine. So you can actually drink the water from this one but you need to be really really careful with that uh, I, i'm gonna show you why let's gonna drink and check on the metabolism like you see this water is 2.4 for one sip. let's gonna take a, another one it's 4.8 so if we drink a couple of times, we can start dying here. You see the our health now is gonna 1.6 already. So what are we gonna do? We are gonna fill water bottle with fresh. And the second one as well. And we check there is any difference when we're gonna drink now all of this. It's 5 for 3, so we got less, was 4.8, now it's 5 for 3, so 0 0.5 this bottle. So if we drink another one, uh, half liter, should be 5.8. Let's gonna check this. Yes, uh, we are a little bit full with this water. And 5.8. So from the bottle, when we're drinking, is 0.5. If we're drinking from uh, uh, Fontaine, is 2.4. So all the time, just uh, take your water in your uh, uh, inventory for some bottle, fill it, and after the drinking, don't drink directly from this. The same is about the lakes or the especially the river close to the between the city and the reactor. So really, really avoid drinking from the fountains. Now we know where to find the food, uh, how to uh, use the water. Uh, time for the find some place to living. Uh, this one is uh, definitely uh, one of the best for the official servers and one of my favorites. It's a uh, plenty of buildings like this because the most of them are uh, like copy paste in this place so you can find easily that kind of apartment. So let's say we can lock this one with dialogues or 
and just gold locks, some zappers. And we have a one door, we have a protect from the second door. We can protect on the third door. Oops. And even in the balcony when we're going to keep uh, our stash. Like you see, you cannot jump here from uh, anywhere. We can barricade these windows and keep an even stash over here. So the raiders need to pass four doors, 12 locks uh, to actually get your loot. If you split your, uh, your loot here, you have uh, the bedroom here. This is another door to pass. You can uh, keep some of loot over here. It's another uh, over here. The same story is on this balcony. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, even including uh, uh, this one you can lock eight doors in this apartment you can uh, lock and will be pretty difficult of course they are the great uh, lock pickers but it's still great stuff actually uh, somewhere outside in this fog you have plenty of nice places to bury extra the important for your loot so will be great so now I'm gonna test this and prove we actually can survive without hazmat here in this this part of the city. We are on the east side. So we are radiation now is going really really high is 9.6. So uh, when is 9.7 now is gonna start after 15. We're gonna have a problem. So still we have a 90 percent. We're gonna pee soon. I'm gonna take now like uh, 20 minutes and I'm gonna cut this video. First we're gonna maybe eat uh, another watermelon. I'm curious how much this poison it now. Oh, it's 08. Yeah, we came uh, by the uh, reactor with this, so <laughs> it's really high. If we keep it this uh, watermelon, let's say in the fridge for one day or two days, this radiation gonna go down, so we're not gonna have that big problem. But I wanna go to extreme high radiation, and we we'll see we can actually survive this. Here we go. Now we have at the health ten ten point seven is really really bad. We're gonna pee now. 10.7 and we are on 9.1 but it's gonna grow like crazy because remember guys everything in our stomach it's make a problem mostly this water they wanna killing us right now so the watermelon is the best for uh, very quickly go to pee so i would be recommend this one i'm gonna take now around 20 minutes i'm gonna pee eat this watermelon more and more pee and again and see you in 20 minutes and we are back here so uh, it's not take 20 minutes it takes uh, almost one hour but we are in the 0 0.2 right now so it's pretty pretty nice uh, problem was the drinking water from the fountain so if you are wanna living here avoid uh, drinking from fountain rivers and something like that and i noticed something else uh, the water inside the bottle don't it cannot have more than 0 0.5 radiation for the this 0 0.5 liter bottle so it's a maximum what is this uh, around uh, 15 minutes ago or 20 minutes ago uh, i put this water from fountain inside the bottle uh, it was 0 0.5 after 15 20 minutes uh, let me check this look at this metabolism 
this is second bottle already and instead of one is 0 0.8 so it's uh, dropping slowly every 15 minutes about 0 0.1 radiation so if we have a lot of uh, uh, bottles we can fill it we can uh, put in uh, the fridge and after two three hours there will be minimum radiation in this bottle 0 0.1 which is really really great so drinking and peeing this let you survive even without hazmat you need to drink that kind of bottle around every 15 minutes i guess the best is watermelon just keep them uh, on this side on the east side in the fridge so the radiation from the watermelon will be not that big one like we come from the reactor and now guys uh for that this one uh who stay with me to the end i have had a great uh, exploit and great tip and this is the plug chicken i tested this on the rabbit but it's not working but on the chicken we can actually chop and most of people chop this uh, chicken after cooking or something but look like this weight 2.2 kilogram and now we're gonna eat gonna check the health and food repulsion we stop in three percent maybe even four will be great but this chicken we still have them and we're gonna use them is 99 percent we're gonna use them when it's even one percent we can keep them for two days of playing and just lit little by little eat and we don't need to care about the any other food so in this case we're gonna check the metabolism it's pretty uh, radiated this chicken but they give us the protein 10.9 right now if we're using this chicken outside the toxic zone is totally safe and you can survive 12 15 hours in game just on this chicken and you don't need to care about anything else we're gonna pee one more time check our health it was one percent and we are at zero again so every time when this radiation go a little bit further we drink a lot of water and we peeing and we can play here without the hazmat so guys no worry about to come in this place and live in this place enjoy the new city most of you afraid of this place so don't do it uh, because this video is pretty long that's uh, everything about this special places for looting I uh, like uh, the special police department with I think 14 uh, lockers we leave for the next video if uh, I notice uh, uh, you like that one and you want more about uh, uh, tip and tick tricks uh, in the toxic city I'm gonna make this uh, another video and thank you for watching this one please smash this like button if you want more content about the toxic Consider subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye bye.